What's going on homies? Welcome to the first edition of Road to Chrome. Now today we're going to be talking about the M1941. Now Kate and I basically sat down we are like, hey, let's just go for Chrome and let's just go down the list. And it goes from ARs to subs to, I believe, LMG sniper shotguns. And then we'll do the secondaries and all that fun stuff. So basically we started with the M1941. Now this gun, in my opinion, was either the second or third hardest and i will once that gun comes along i'll tell you which was the hardest gun you could probably guess which one it was also in the middle of editing this i want to note that we were getting completely smacked by this six man of arasakas i mean i believe four out of the six or five out of the six had arasakas but every time you peeked a corner it was at least two or three arasaka shots being shot at you and that gun is so broken right now and this guy teabagged my body so i started shooting his body and he did end with more kills with me and it's a sniper but that shit's broke dude like they need to nerf that I, i'm just gonna continue with the video the only reason i would say it was like the second or third hardest was because i'm not a person that's able to aim at the head really really well i'm usually just right i'm used to aiming at the body but having to adjust to aiming the head for the first time in I mean forever you know it was really weird for me so it took me a while to actually get used to that and this gun probably took the second longest so again i just had to get used to aiming for the head now for all of these challenges all these camo challenges i would recommend going on shipment because shipment is small if it's shipment domination you average like 50 60 70 kills a game so at least 10 or 15 or 20 of those uh those kills are going to be headshots let's start with the headshot medals what i would recommend for the headshot medals is going on shipment and just shipment surf as i explained earlier you get like 50 60 70 kills a game at least 10 to 20 of those should be headshots if you're aiming to the head there are even some times where i would literally walk into the game turn the corner there's one guy headshot turn headshot turn headshot and i would just go on like a little headshot spree or a headshot sort of kill streak of like 10 or whatever you just kind of have to find yourself in that groom you have to have that good aim that's kind of like self-explanatory now for the headshot challenges i would actually recommend the class of infantry so you can actually have that fourth attachment you can have some more mobility i'd re recommend hunker because you can survive a nade or two because this is shipment don't forget the m19 of course with quick draw because you're going to want to be able to turn or aim turn and aim quick grip so you can control the recoil high caliber for more headshot damage and this is really optional you can either run the red dot sight or the fat uh, the extended mag because this gun really doesn't have a lot of ammo in its clip it's really personal preference here but i think those three attachments should be like your main one you can kind of if you like the iron sights then you could use that and run extended mag because there's only 25 bullets in the clip and you burn them very fast now the pistols also whatever you kind of want to do i just ran the po8 the whole entire time because if i did switch to my pistol and i got a headshot boom i'm already starting my headshot challenges for my po8 so that's how kind of how i thought about it now for grenades you're gonna want to either run the regular frag grenade or sticky grenade that's personal preference i i like running a sticky grenade on some classes and then some classes like running a frag it just kind of depends on the day so some people may wonder why i'm running smokes in this situation so here's the reason so on shipment there's always somebody head glitching a car with an lmg just picking you off your spawn that's just shipment that's just shipment that's gonna happen okay so basically what you do is if you see a guy camping at that car throw smoke in front of the car the smoke's gonna erupt he can't use that head glitch anymore he has to either move wait for the smoke or he's gonna get rushed by one of your teammates with a sub so that's how i see it. it really helps like when i started going for gold i never ran this strategy but once i figured it out in the end i'm like no what a smoke would actually be very very smart because it cuts off their lines of sight and once i started running that the camping rates have gone down so much and it's not really like I, t I plan on rushing them. I just throw it and then either let my teammates do their work or let them move out. It's kind of whatever. So now we have the 10 long shot medals. And for me personally, this was the hardest camo to get for every AR. So to get Chrome, you have to get long shots on your ARs and you have to get the headshots. And I'm not used to aiming for the head. And I also don't play hardcore, which is usually where you want to get your long shots for. So this whole Chrome thing has been a big challenge for me, but I was able to get past those challenges and actually like be somewhat successful. So what I'd recommend here is to actually change the class up by one, doing one thing, which is either getting rid of the red dot or the extended mag and running a four times and basically sitting in the back of the map on whatever map it, it may be. The map I found the easiest was USS 
US Texas because if you're sitting in the back of the map on the little f the gun if they're in top control room that's considered a long shot so I think that's pretty good because it's not really long but it's also it's pretty good spot to be sitting in it works out both ways because 99% of the time I'm always getting spawn trapped on USS Texas so might as well get my long shots while I'm getting spawn trapped if you're playing like if you're playing on St. Marie if you go to the, uh, one of the top buildings if you go to the upstairs buildings and you shoot at someone that's like in the other building or even down at the car that counts as the long shot of course on the side of the boats from USS Texas those are long shots I believe from the two flak guns on flak tower though that's a long shot our Dennis force I really didn't get that much but i'm pretty sure the back of the cabin if you're sitting in the bunker is a long shot london docks if you're sitting by the crane and you're killing people like in that little sniper peek through spot that's a long shot you really have to teach yourself how to sit back like me i really like rushing i love really love running and gunning so i had to like train myself to say okay matt you gotta sit in the back literally just watch this one angle if anybody comes in your crosshair shoot him so that's your long shot medal so now you should be on your 50 kills with infantry and without infantry now these are very very easy just go on shipment and you should get them in two games each so like four games in total if you're getting the 50 kills with infantry i would recommend just staying with that class maybe adding extended mag instead of the the reflex sight if you if you like the iron sights of course then if you're doing something other than infantry i would say run armored and maybe hustle if you like running and gunning like i do because then you have the reload while sprinting and you have the fast uh reload so that's all that's all up to you so now we're on the two rapid kills five times these will happen while you're getting your 50 your 50 uh kills 100 kills if you want to count both of them together yeah these will just happen randomly you, you'll get this this one isn't very hard now the five blood thirsties now these may sound intimidating but they're really not you know how i was talking about smoking off campers you actually have to be the camper so sit on a car and just kill people kill people as they're walking out of their spawn that's literally how i did it all the time trying to get my blood thirsties for ar submachine gun snipers that's how i did it i'm pretty sure it's c flag but that car literally sit back there with hunkered and even if you want to run armored too to like survive 55 nades and you could do that as well but for this gun you do tend to run out of ammo really fast so i'd recommend running forage or expeditionary so you can like replenish ammo whenever you want you would be perfectly fine without running one of the two or two out of the two if you just can't go firing away at people if they're crossing over really fast you just gotta acknowledge that and say okay cut my losses here i'm not killing that guy and i had troubles with that if you follow my advice you should have it done by now it should take you five minutes not really it took me quite a bit of time but a lot of people may say go to hardcore for the headshots or go to hardcore for all this stuff but i 126 percent recommend shipment even though it may be really stressful you literally just have to have the mindset of, of okay it's shipment i'm gonna die I can't win just don't be so focused on winning and you won't like stress yourself out like i noticed whenever i was actually playing for objective i would get really mad whenever we wouldn't like hold a flag on shipment and they would like call in requisitions i get a lot more mad but when i just go running around for headshots not really hopping on flags knowing i'm i mean i'm gonna die you have to understand that you're not gonna go on a super high streak on shipment you just gotta have that mindset except for caden getting two v2 rockets on shipment and i actually got one one too but i didn't have expeditionary prestige so i have yet to get a nuke in any call of duty game technically but technically i have but really i haven't <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully this did help you. Now I, I'm most definitely gonna make a video for every single gun. So far I have the ARs done, the subs done, the snipers done, one of the shotguns and one of the LMGs done. So I'm still actually going for Chrome myself, but I'm gonna keep pumping out these videos as I'm getting uh, these weapons done. So if you enjoyed this video, press the like button, subscribe if you're new, and that's all I got. See ya. Hold up, do not click off yet. This is Matt from the future. And I did not think that I was going to be done this early in the gameplay. So I'm just going to let the gameplay play out. So just enjoy the gameplay of me getting smacked by a whole bunch of freaking Arasaka Japanese pussy slayers.
Gun aircraft observed. That's all, folks.